بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما Okay, so probably in this section we'll talk about the BGP protocol, Border Gateway protocol. So BGP is the commonly used protocol on the internet. So we use internet because of the BGP protocol. So initially we'll try to understand some of the basic concepts relating to uh, BGP first, like what is autonomous system number, and then we'll try to see the difference between IGP and BGP options. So starting with autonomous system number autonomous system number is a collection of routers under one single administration so if we just take an example we got some three routers which belongs to organization abc and let's say you want to connect these three routers to a uh, to you want to interconnect or maybe you want to connect them to the ISP. So, or maybe you want to connect to a, a remote site. So, probably what we'll do is we'll try to contact the service provider, and the service provider is responsible for providing you the connectivity here. So, we'll contact the service provider, service provider will provide you the connectivity. Likewise, the same thing here we got uh, XYZ customer having its own sites, and you want to connect these sites. Again, we'll contact the service border, and the service border will be providing you the connectivity in this case as well. Now, again, the question is let's say this customer ABC is trying to send out some traffic to his own sites. As it goes through the service border, is there any possibility that the traffic may end up? may end up going to some other customer xyz like that so typically we say that's not possible because the service border will ensure that the traffic of the customer abc and the traffic of the customer xyz is actually separated unless you want uh, you, you can still send the traffic as per your requirements but there is a separation but again, the question comes, how exactly the service border is going to identify the organization ABC and XYZ? So, so basically, the service border is going to allocate something called autonomous system number. So some autonomous system number will be allocated, and this AS number will identify that organization. So, so typically, when this particular customer sites are being configured with BGP or some other protocols, or when they try to send the traffic to the service portal, they will try to send that they belong to this autonomous system number. So, so basically autonomous system number is a number which identifies a group of routers under one single domain or under one single organization. So that's what uh, generally we call it as autonomous system number. So AS number ranges from 1 to 65,535. Now, now again, we have 2 to the power of 32 range, which is even bigger than this. Okay. So what is AS number? AS number is a number which identifies one single domain or one routing domain or one organization. So again, this AS number is further classified into two types, like private and the public AS numbers. Like if you're going with the 64513 range, so typically based on the older range, this is the range given for the private AS numbers. Now the difference between the private AS number and the public AS number is more similar to your private and the public IP address. Like first, let's try to understand the private AS number. Let's say I got my organization ABC and I want to connect these sites so I'm going to contact my local service border and that service border will provide me the connectivity and for identification of the traffic when the traffic comes. So it's going to allocate some number. Let's say in this case, the service border allocates something called 65,000, let's say. And let's say there is another customer, another organization, another company, XYZ, 
want to connect their own sites and he is going to contact his own local service provider and that service provider is going to provide the AS number and this AS number let's say using 65,000. Now if you try to see the company ABC is using the same number XYZ is also using the same number. So as long as the service border is providing the connectivity to the customer sites within the same service border, he can allocate the number. Just like a simple example of private and the public IPs. Let's say if I'm using 192.168.1. subnet in my LAN and in my company XYZ and somewhere in a different location, different city, different country, different organization ABC using the same subnet. Now there is no problem because we don't talk to each other. We don't really communicate with each other. So as long as we don't, there's no problem. Now same thing applicable here as well. As long as this organization, this organization, they don't uh, really interconnect or exchange any routes between them. That's not going to be a problem. So in that scenarios, service portal will allocate some private AS numbers, just like we allocate the private IPs. But whereas the public AS numbers are just like the public IPs, which are registered, globally unique, and used if you are interconnecting customer sites over multiple service providers. Like if you take an example, we got some few sites in India, and I want to connect my own company sites in UAE. Now in this scenario, I may not contact my local service provider. Let's say I'm going to contact my local provider and my local provider do not have connectivity to UAE. So maybe he will not be able to provide. So in these scenarios, probably what happens is my local service provider connects and then he's going to uh, contact the remote service border and these two service border will mutually agree on exchanging the routes and in these scenarios again my organization ABC will be allocated an AS number but this AS number is not going to be a private because if if this service border allocates 65,000 maybe this service border is already using the same number for some other customer in their own sites so typically when you are interconnecting your multiple sites over multiple service providers, then you will be using some kind of registered public AS numbers. And as per the old range, again, 1264512 is reserved for public AS numbers. So this AS number is something a little bit important, especially before we move to the BGP, because all the configurations done inside the BGP will be done based on the AS numbers.